So everybody's talking about Genie 3, but suddenly now there's a Chinese competitor called Yan. So in today's video I'm going to show you all about Yan and all this crazy simulation stuff that it does. Um, side note, it seems to be mainly on games, whereas Genie 3 seems to be mainly on the real world, but gamified. And I think there's a good reason behind that. So anyway, Genie 3 came out from Google, right? A new frontier for world models, right? Essentially, it was creating these... I'll put the video on in the background, but essentially it creates these worlds where you give it a prompt and it will create an interactive world like this that you can then go around and move right, left, up, down, all this cool stuff, right? Now, this is super cool obviously for games, things like that, but it can be good for the real world, so simulating learning experiences, whether that's like training a doctor or a firefighter or something like that, right? The kind of stuff that I thought was cool about VR or AR kind of thing, right? Now, the cool thing here, though, is that it's all based on and trained on video data, so like real-world video data like this, meaning that it can then be used to train actual AI agents, which is what they get on to, if we go follow down here, they get on to how AI agents are actually trained to do things. So, for example, here, you choose a goal, so we're in a bakery, go to the cooling racks, and the AI agent uses computer vision to find the rack to go there which is insane because now we have simulated worlds to train AI agents so that they can then use eyes so they can then come into the real world and they'll know what to do, which is nuts. Now, that is Genie 3. Doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't exist yet for the mainstream public at least. It's, uh, you know, it's the academics or whatever. But Yan is another one that's just been released. Again, we can't use it. We can only go on the demo data, but even demo data... Be suspicious about demo data and be suspicious about what you're allowed to know versus what already exists. But anyway, we have Tencent, who are a large Chinese company, and they've released Yan. Now, what is Yan? It's kind of the same as Genie, but the Chinese version. However, there is actually quite a big difference. So, if we see here Yan, all the main stuff here and the thing they talk about loads is essentially gamification is creating games so triple a level simulation which is like triple a is essentially just means the best that you can get for games image to interaction so you give it an image it can create an environment for it text interactions or so prompt text guided expansion so this is essentially where you can get it to create things and change things structure editing so you can change things kind of in real time essentially the same with style editing as you'd seen there now Let's scroll down. They have all of these models, so I'm not going to get too much into detail here, but essentially it uses AI to create this type of environment. So here's some diverse scenario simulation examples. So if we go back to the beginning there, we have here, and from this single point, we can then change it to, as you can see here, four different places, um, all from this single, oops, single scenario. It goes into multiple. Accurate mechanism simulation, so essentially here is that the thing that you're supposed to do actually works. So that example there is that it actually slides down the slide, which is pretty cool. Um, infinite length simulation, so let's see here, I think it's just trying to say that it can go on for ages and ages. Whereas for Genie it was like 20 seconds, whereas here it's going on as it's showing you for like a minute. Or oh, infinite length, oh is that because, whoa, the wee guy dies. And then he comes back to life again. Interesting. Um, Multi-model generation as well, which means you know it's text, visual, and action-based controls, which is pretty cool. And so if we scroll down, some more stuff here that's cool is image to interactive video. So for example, we have this one here, we have this image, and then they say basically, you know, make a game from this image. And then it creates this oh, there's a play button. It creates this game here where you can use your your different keys to then actually move around in this environment, which is so cool. Um, how'd I get out of here? I'm stuck. There we go. Another example is the whole GTA 6 one too. So here's the image and it goes and it creates GTA, like you're able to move around. Obviously the real advancement here is going to be in creating the like interactions and stuff here. So, you know, picking up guns and shooting people. Uh, <laughs> but the cool thing for this for people who make games is you know they no longer have to create every single one of these houses and, and lamp posts by hand and some more examples there but 
the thing I wanted to mainly talk about, about here, or at least raise for you to think about, is this was essentially trained, this underlying model was trained on basically game data. So that's why it's all like this. It's all very like a game. Whereas Genie was trained on video data. It's Google, it's YouTube, all your video data, probably. I didn't say that. Maybe. Allegedly. Not allegedly. What would the world be? If I was Google, if I was a company who owned a streaming site and I owned all the rights to the data, kind of, then I would maybe use it. Maybe. Anyway, so they have this here, um, and that's all video. And the thing here is it's training agents. Now, that's a bit dodgy when you then start to look at these, like, humanoid um, robots. Like, five grand or something. You can buy a new robot to actually cut about and do stuff. Now, imagine this here that's been trained using Genie and stuff like that. Crazy. Whereas Yan, it's more around the game side of things. Um, but, you know, gaming is massive in, in China. So, But, but yeah, it's, it's worth looking at. It's interesting. But I think with all of these things, do take it with a grain of salt because it is just, you know, here's a demo. Look how amazing it is. And it's like, for example, right, these here with text to interactive video. Let's open one up. So you have all this text up the top, blah, blah, blah. And apparently it's created this game that can then move around. Now, I'm not saying that it can't make this game, but what I'm saying is that demos notoriously have been leveraged to create hype and get investment. So are they real? Are they not? I don't know. It probably has, you know, it's like everything. It's somewhere in the middle. But super cool stuff. But it does, again, make you think... I keep saying the one thing I'm going to tell you, but it makes me think as well what the future of gaming and stuff will be like because I'm not subscribing to this idea that we'll all be making our own games because part of games... There we go, it creates a small character in this picture. That's cool. But part of games is the social element to it, you know, um, and everyone playing the same one. But it will definitely speed up the process to, to prototyping which I think is essentially what AI is doing right now. Is in every aspect, it is lowering the bar to to entry. But that is a weird way to think about it because, yes, it lowers the bar. But if the bar is low for everybody, then the standard expected raises up, so everyone can get in. And that's how like you have the magical little period. And we're kind of in that for content creation, getting to the end of it. I think, and even for like AI websites and stuff, we'll be at the end of it in the next couple of years for sure which is essentially that you're going to be the bar for entry is getting lower more people jump in so then the bar for actually being profitable for making money for being worthwhile moves up and that's starting to happen with this whole ai slop epidemic which is an idea for a video i've had for ages because it just freaks me out i'm sick of seeing ai slop everywhere so let me know what you think is everybody going to be playing ai video games do we need to worry about Humanized robots for five grand coming in, not just taking our jobs, but just uh, taking us away. Who knows? Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.